uh, my name is Ian Chandler. Um, I decided to do the Law 2 program in Ulsan, South Korea. Um, I went to Horace Mann and uh, I had a friend from South Korea, so I've always been kind of interested in that. And when I heard about Law 2, it gave me the opportunity to, uh, one, visit Korea, see my old friend again, and also um, it allowed me to uh, help teach people English, help them understand it better, and it just sounded like a really good opportunity to uh, go somewhere completely different um, and uh, just see something, you know, just see the world from a different perspective, I suppose. Uh, a typical school day was about, like it wasn't anywhere really, I suppose, uh, just wake up, went to class, and then afterwards, uh, since you know, me and the other international students didn't have cars, we usually just uh, would go walk around town. A typical day was like anywhere, but uh, on the weekends we'd try and spend most of our time traveling. So. Um, I spent most of my time studying uh, in an intensive Korean course. And while I didn't do great in it, I also um, I also took sociology, but um, but I did that so that I could uh, feel more uh, engulfed in the culture, I suppose I want to say. Um, but uh, I took up a lot of my time, and um, that, along with uh, helping teach people English, um, I really started to feel connected to uh, Korean culture and. Um, uh, I still feel that way even even now, about two years later. Um, and so my highlight was uh, about halfway through, I, me and a friend of mine, um, we decided to go visit Seoul and while we were there I met up with my friend who I hadn't seen in about ten years and so we spent, we spent a couple days just traveling Seoul, he lived there so he showed me around, uh, went up to Seoul Tower and um, it was just great. It was it was great seeing um, a city completely unlike I've ever seen. Uh, catching up with an old friend. Um, it, was, it was probably one of the best times I've ever had. So I mean, I wouldn't trade it for anything. Uh, well, I work at I work as the Safe Rides uh, at the Safe Rides program, and and we work with a lot of international students. And uh, and after after going to Korea and uh, being you know, completely enveloped by another culture. Um, it really uh, it gave me an interesting perspective to see how it felt on the other side where um, a lot of people couldn't understand me and where I didn't have a car or access to a lot of things. And um, it really opened me up my eyes. That and I was forced to be more social with people so I became much more open. Um, especially while trying to teach students because they had never met someone from America when I first met my students. Um, and so it forced me to try and start conversations with them. Because of that, I've become a much more extroverted type of person than I used to be. Uh, academically, um, I feel like I'm much more focused. Um, I didn't do great while I was in school there, just because I ended up dedicating more of my time uh, to traveling. And um, I just want to see the sights, and so I, I probably should just focus more on my studies. But because of that, I feel like I'm more focused than I used to be, and uh, I put a lot more effort into uh, trying to do good in whatever class I'm in. In a career, I suppose uh, I I could bring a new perspective uh, to wherever I worked at. Um, I personally wanted to get into game design, and um, and I have a lot of ideas, and one of those ideas is to have someone uh, introduced into a new cultural as into a new culture, as happens a lot of times in uh, games. And I help. I thought. I think this uh, helped me understand what that would be like, and so I could draw upon my own experiences when creating that. Um, honestly, I would recommend this program to anyone, just because it's it's something that. Uh, It'll create friendships that you'll have for a, a very, very long time, probably forever. And it's uh, an experience unlike anything you've ever done, probably. Um, especially because you're there for, you know, six months to a year, maybe longer. And, uh, yeah, it gives you a complete new perspective. And, I mean, I wouldn't trade, I wouldn't trade my experiences. <clears throat> excuse me. I wouldn't trade my experiences for anything.